we're going to look at the operation of the new Headland Management Control, also known as HMC2. This will be available on all Optums and Stage 4 Pumas. HMC2 makes the tractor and implement operation on the Headland easier, quicker and more precise. Recording sequences is possible in real time while working or in a park position on the edge of the field. Entering commands can be done on the Pro 700 screen. Here every single action can be edited or deleted whilst additional actions can be added by the touch of a button. First of all we must set up an implement to store the HMC2 sequence against. This means when we next use the implement in the following year we can recall the sequence without the need to re-record. We can use an existing implement or enter a new one. In this case it will be a plough. To enter HMC2, press the HMC button from the home screen. Recording can either be done where time elapsed triggers the next step or distance travelled. If we want to manually input a sequence into the screen, we need to press the plus button. This gives us a choice of actions. The functions available to control are engine speed, forward speed, PTOs, hydraulic remotes, front and rear hitch, AccuGuide, front suspension and forward drive and diff lock. Now we're back to the infield scenario with our plough entering the headland. So first of all we want to change from target speed number 2 to target speed number 1. This will slow down the tractor. Then we want to lift up the rear linkage, disengage diff lock, And finally, we want to extend remote valve number one for eight seconds to turn over the plough. We want to do this with a flow rate of 40%. We can further edit the sequence by entering trigger points. This will start the next action in the sequence. Triggers available to use are a set time or distance, hitch position, PTO engagement or disengagement, and shuttle operation. Back to the infield scenario. We want the change in forward speed and the plough to lift simultaneously as we activate the HMC2 button. However, we want to add a trigger to disengage the diff lock when the rear hitch raises above 65%. Then, as soon as we shuttle from forward to reverse, the plough wants to turn over. We now have a complete sequence for coming out of work and we can name it. We can then record a sequence B for putting the plough back into work. We will quickly do this now and what it will include is lowering the plough, engaging diff lock, increasing forward speed and engaging guidance. I will then put the appropriate trigger points in. Pressing the save button will store the sequence to the set implement. This can either be stored in slot A or slot B and the sequence named, confirmed or edited. The sequence can be further tailored to improve operation. We can edit things such as a step value or add, delete or move steps. Rather than manually entering our sequence, we can let the system record our actions as we physically do them. To do this, we press the record button and perform our sequence in a normal fashion. We can then edit and save the sequence as we did earlier. Now we want to play back the sequence. We can select the sequence we want to play, A or B. You can also select that sequence A and B are replayed in an alternating way, beginning with either sequence A or sequence B. Pressing the replay button on the monitor uploads the sequence and sets the HMC2 into a standby mode. As we enter the headland, a simple click on the square button on the multi-controller is enough to start the replay. As you can see, this slows down our forward speed and simultaneously lifts the plough. As soon as the plough raises above 65%, the diff locks disengage. Then, as soon as I shuttle from forward to reverse, remote valve 1 operates to turn the plough over. As we enter back into work, at the correct time, we press the square button on the multi-controller to initiate sequence B. This will lower the plough and once it's below 60% diff lock will engage. 
we then travel 2 meters and the forward speed will increase from target speed 1 to 2 and the guidance will be engaged. 